Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another BJ and Co. video. Today is Friday, July 10th, 2015, and we're taking a look in Destiny at where Zer is hiding. So come and follow me. We're in the tower this week, and he's off in the hangar area, off in that little bar. So come along, and let's see what goodies he's got for us this week. I'm gonna guess, let's say, no backup plans. Good to have you back. Just because Zer feels like he's gonna be, gonna be a troll. He's been nice to us lately. Last week wasn't great, but let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Do -do 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 Now, can I make the jump properly? Nope. Beyond even the outer. So here he is, right here, guys. And in his inventory, he has. Damn. Okay, so for the Titan, we have the Eternal Warrior, which is the helm with a intellect of 69, discipline of 58. Um, Stat-wise, I don't really have anything to compare it with, but that's coming out at 120 and change, which seems pretty much on the high end with the split. Um, super energy from non-Guardian kills. Replenish health when you pick up an orb and provides unstoppable for Fist of Havoc. Uh, that can be a very fun PvE one, especially for Crota's End. For the Hunter, we have the Crest of the Alpha Lupi chest piece, which is strength of 148, which looks like, oh, uh, that's definitely on the low end of what it's sold it for. Well, second highest for that one, but you can roll into the 170s with the chest piece, so not amazing. For the Warlock, we have the Purifier Robes which uh discipline of 85 and strength of 79 looks like it's pretty much on the high end of what the chess pieces can get that's about 164 total which is way up there um i see a 166 he sold something for so a nice split there uh activating radiance from death disorients nearby enemies that's kind of cool Damage from grenade reduces your melee cooldown. Nice. And damage from melee reduces your grenade cooldown. So that's a nice little chain together there. As long as you're using those abilities, they'll keep coming back quicker and quicker. We've got the Plan C Fusion Rifle, which can always be an interesting one. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Fusion Rifles, but it's uh, it's a pretty good one there, especially that you can swap to it very easily. Exotic Shard for 7 is normal. And the Helm Engram again. So if there's just still a few things that you're trying to roll for, you can always pop that one there and see what you can get. Uh, we've got for Curios, the Pulse Rifle Telemetry, Fusion Rifle Telemetry, Machine Gun Telemetry, Plasma Drive, Void Drive, and the Heavy Ammo Synthesis, and of course you can exchange like always. So that's what we've got this week, guys. I'm going to definitely be farming some coins and uh, be going after both the Purifier Robes and the Eternal Warrior, as I RNG Jesus hates me and I haven't had a chance to get either of those yet. Uh, but let me know down below. I'd love to hear what you guys are getting and uh, what you think of this week's gear. I... Uh I'm very surprised that Zer has been relatively nice for the last, or three of the last four weeks. So we'll see how long that goes. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this and got found some use out of it, don't forget to smash the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel to see when this stuff goes live. And uh, if you've got any comments, throw them below. We'd love to hear from you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.